Kate. God, I wish that were me. I wish my name was Kate Mara. You know what? This strap keeps falling off, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep it off. I'm gonna take it, take it all off. I did not have high hopes for this show, but I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with the lesbianism in it. I, I am. Do you know I've made nearly 60 videos about Generation Q? Is that not the most embarrassing thing you've ever heard for another person? to have done in the history of time. Outside of Jennifer Bills, I don't even like the show. And I've made 60 videos. That's the power of Jennifer Bills. Speaking of Generation Q, Sepeda Mawafi is once again playing an on-screen lesbian in the show The Class of 09. And I got time for that. Once again, she's carrying the entire sapphic community on her back. And her potential love interest is played by Kate Mara. Yes, the My Days of Mercy Kate Mara. This show is sat saturated in sapphic connections. But what is Class of 09, I hear you ask? Well, Class of 09 is a suspense thriller limited series that follows a class of FBI agents set in three distinct points in time, who grapple with immense changes as the US criminal justice system is altered by artificial intelligence. So a few people have asked me to talk about this show and it's taken me a while because this is not the type of show I would normally watch. And as much as I worship the ground that Sepeda Moafi walks on, I was a bit skeptical about the whole lesbian relationship between poet and hour in this show. I thought there might be some queer baiting. I, I did. But then I came across a clip of poet and hour where Sepeda Moafi was working her sapphic magic. There was some quite intense lesbian eye contact going on and I was like, you know what? That's all it takes. It just takes lesbian eye contact and I will sit through an entire show just for those moments. I, I will. So I've now caught up with all the episodes and I can finally talk to you about it. Now, obviously, this show does not revolve around Poet and Hour's relationship. Their relationship is very much just one aspect of it. But I have to say, their connection is probably the most interesting connection and probably the most interesting thing in the entire show. There's a lot of tender moments between the two of them, a lot of intimate touching and longing. Their eye contact in particular is very intense and they keep up that intensity throughout the episodes. A couple of scenes which stood out to me in particular, firstly the scene where they're dancing with each other, you could really feel the tension between them in that moment. I was really struck by their chemistry in this scene. And secondly, when our comforts poet in bed, you could really sense the depth of their connection in this particular scene. And there were also a lot of smaller moments where poet would play with or touch our's hair. And it was just these small acting choices which really said a lot about their relationship. Kate and Sepeda definitely have a lot more chemistry than I was expecting. I know Sepeda Moafi could have chemistry with a lamp. Even still, I think it's that chemistry between them that adds so much depth to the Poet and Hour relationship. And if I compare the chemistry between Poet and Hour to the chemistry between Poet and Lennox, there's a real difference. There's a real difference. The chemistry between Poet and Lennox is in the minus. It's not giving anything. And I'm not just saying that because they're a heterosexual couple. I'm saying it because it's straight up awkward between the two of them at times. And the writing around the both of them is also really poor, which doesn't help the situation. I mean, for example, the proposal was one of the least romantic proposals I've ever seen on screen. A lot of their dialogue with each other also seems really forced. And I'm not sure if this is done on purpose because Poet and Hour are the ones who are supposed to be endgame and the audience is supposed to kind of pick up these subtle hints throughout the show. And this is the thing, I think if we kind of consider the intimacy and the depth of Poet and Hour's relationship compared to Poet and Lennox, it does seem like there may be a last minute twist where Poet and Hour could possibly be endgame. But then within the context of the show, it also wouldn't be surprising if one or both of them just died. And this is why I was skeptical about 
their relationship within this show because it's that kind of show. Those are the vibes. Those are the vibes. I'm also not sure if I was just reading too much into their relationship simply because Kate and Sepida have such a powerful chemistry. Like perhaps it's their chemistry and acting choices which have built up the relationship to be something it's not and to be something which the writers didn't intend. That said, the show certainly suggests that poet does return Hour's feelings, even though it's quite subtle. For instance, when Poet visits Hour in the future timeline, it's noted that she looks sad in the presence of Hour and her wife. I think it's interesting that the kid brings that up because is it related to Poet looking at what she could have had with our or is it just related to something else there's also references to poet sexuality all throughout the show it's definitely mentioned or assumed by other characters that she likes women and she also kisses our after our confesses her feelings for her but to be honest i found the kiss scene a little bit strange because the kiss was very kind of intimate and charged but at the same time, I felt like it was set up to kind of confirm that Poet didn't share those same feelings, right? So something about it felt a bit awkward or uncertain. So there's a lot of mixed signals happening because it feels like she does like her, but at the same time, she's saying she doesn't and she's with Lennox and she says yes to Lennox's proposal. So... Yeah, the finale is definitely going to be interesting. I'm not holding out any hope for an end game whatsoever, but I am interested to see what they do with that relationship. I have to say the show definitely gave me a lot more than I was expecting, especially in terms of like sapphic representation, lesbian representation and storyline. I mean, they gave Sepeda Mawafi's character a wife, so it just feels correct to see Sepeda Moafi playing a character who has a wife. It just feels correct. God, I wish that were me again. Okay guys, if you've been watching The Class of 09, let me know what you think of it down in the comments section below. Do you think Poet and Hour will be endgame? Let me know your thoughts. If you want to support me thirsting over Sepeda Moafi and lesbian content in general, that sounds more promising than it is. Come and join the Sapphic Underground Club. Just come and join it. It's pretty much just like a monthly tip. Just a monthly tip for the forever lesbian. Immortal lesbian. <laughs> but that's just a vampire. That is just a vampire. Okay. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>